Hey, what's going on everybody? Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you, I don't know how many, lots of like tips and secrets, things you probably didn't notice throughout your first day of playing, and I'm going to share it with you. If you guys do find at least one thing in this video helpful, and I'm confident that you will, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I think that's a pretty good deal. And uh, yeah, if you have any secrets or tips or anything you found out, let us know in the comment section below. I'll do a follow up part two and we can just keep helping each other out. But let's jump right into it. And All right. So probably my favorite feature, and that's why we're starting it off with number one, is the fact that now you can trade all of your like Eternity Isle items with any platform. So before I was only able to trade my Eternity Isle stuff with like, so I'm on Xbox right now. I would only be able to trade it with other Xbox players and they can only give me stuff. And then if I'm on like the Nintendo Switch or if you're on Steam, only Steam slash PC can trade with other Steam slash uh, PC. So I have T, our lovely admin coming into the uh, valley and we're gonna showcase this that way you guys can see. And what's great about this is it allows us to expand our treasure valley. So as most of you guys know, I do host treasure valleys, but we never were able to do the expansion stuff. And that is because it was just too difficult. But now I'm gonna be able to get uh, open up treasure valley valleys for eternity isle and dlc items as well you know ancient cores time bending manuals and all that stuff and then i can place it out here and give it to the community so this is probably why it's my favorite new feature because it's something that allows me to help even more people and i cannot be any more hyped for it so uh t is joining right now and we're gonna test this out so she is coming in on uh the steam platform so x or on pc I am on the Xbox app right now. So before we were not able to take any items. So let's see if she can drop down an ancient core, maybe a time bending manual, and I'm gonna pick it up. All right, there she is. Love the fit, dang. All right, love the bow too. Okay, so moment of truth, time bending manual, ancient cores, can I pick it up? I can, let's freaking go. All righty, well, there you have it. There is tip number one. Up next, there is actually a new journal page in Gaston's house. So let's go take a look. Let me try to uh, find where I even left his house. And uh, it should be right over here in the corner. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Activate it. And it says, as king of Gastonia, Gracier's ruler. No, maybe I should reward LeFou. So loyal. So now we have 17 out of 17 of Gaston's journals. So pretty cool. So as most of you know, we can actually ride amusement rides now. But did you know that the Monster Inc. attraction here, this one that you purchased from the premium shop, you can actually ride it. And not only that, it actually goes slower than before. So the car doesn't move as quick. Now to ride any rides, all you do is go up there with your camera. You right click on it if you're on PC and it's going to put you in here. Now this first mode might make you a little nauseous or motion sickness or anything like that. So click up here at the top right to the selfie mode and then you could just take pictures. You can apply different filters and you could do this with most of the amusement rides in the game, which is really cool. And you can also take a picture and submit it as your dream snap. So I think it's really cool. I'm glad that they're expanding upon this feature. And also what's great about this is we spent the money in the premium shop to buy this Monster Inc. item. And now we're getting even more value because they've added more features to it. So really great update so far. Now something that's really interesting and we're gonna find out more either uh, later today or probably throughout the week, but I'm making this video on the launch day. And something that is really interesting is if you go down to village, there's actually new like quests. It looks like it's gonna be a new event. There's one that's called button maker, one that's popcorn enthusiast, and then one that is called sweet Samaritan. I have guides for these coming out either uh, later today or maybe I already made them. But what's really cool about this is there's like some new cupcakes here. Uh, these popcorn enthusiasts is to get the new popcorn bucket. So if you go over to your collections tab, and then go down to crafting. We're gonna keep scrolling down and then you're gonna see just tons and tons of new popcorn buckets. So we have like the Cinderella one here. It's gonna take some uh, buttons. As you can see, there's like uh, four variations down there. You also have like the figment popcorn bucket over here. 
uh, keep scrolling i know there's like a stitch one and so i think we're getting like an easter slash halloween type of event not easter or halloween but an event like those and it should start hopefully later today or later on in this week but i will have a full guide on that later but just something to be um aware of uh, we have the little stitch popcorn bucket over here and it's just something that's really great so keep an eye on that and keep an eye on the channel i'll be making guides on all of these this is like five new cupcakes that they added to the game so uh you should be able to uh, craft those and maybe give them away we'll figure out more about that later it's just something really uh cool to keep your eyes on and then if you go over here to uh meals you could scroll down you're actually going to see these new cupcake recipes and they actually look really really good so we have like the mermaid cupcake the mini cupcake princess aurora raspberry one a stitch and the spaceship cupcakes now there's actually more about the attractions that we can uh, talk about so if you go over here to furniture mode click on all now we're going to scroll down and they actually have um some new categories you know we have like oswald the lucky rabbit over here but one thing that's really cool is on the main page, they actually have an attractions category. So you have all house, beds, tables, all that. Down here is your attractions. And these are the ones that I have in my inventory. So you can place them down. They even included the Tower of Terror in the attractions. But I don't believe you can actually uh, write that right. So let's go ahead and click on that since it's more of like a furniture piece. Yeah, you could turn it on camera. It does not work for this. So it is an attraction, but it is not a, a writable ride. If you go down to Eternity Isle, go down to Board Game, we actually have some new pieces and it's more than they talked about. We have a Mike Wazowski one. We got Sully, so they did add Sully. They just didn't mention it to us at all. There's also a Oswald one over here. And then you have Daisy over on this side. So four new Scramble Coin pieces. And if you go to Board Game, you can see it used to stop at like 300, I think was the rank, like right here. They extended at the board game board. So now it goes all the way up to 500 to get, you know, even more. So yeah, it ended at 300 and now we have 350, 400, 450, and 500. And that's how you get those last four pieces. So I wasn't expecting them to expand on Screamo Coin, but I'm glad that they did. Now something on the smaller side of a new update they made it where you can't just walk into buildings anymore. You have to actually like press E for enter or whatever button on your platform. So you have to actually click on this. And this is where a lot of people are thinking you get locked in the shop. But as you see, you walk up there, you can't do that anymore. I don't know if this was fully intentional or not, but if you have to actually click on it to exit, the same goes for your house. Let's go take a look at my house real quick because I want to show you something else. What do you notice when I first walk in? You're probably going to notice that I have these giant windows here now. I always had the windows and they never showed, but now they kind of get in the way. And then if you go inside of another room, it's going to show the uh, like the actual door, which is going to be kind of hard for Dream Snap. See, like if I were to do this, the door still gets in the way. So room Dream Snaps are definitely not the way to go right now. And I have to go all the way probably about halfway just to get that door out of my vision so i'm not sure if this one is a bug or a new feature but it definitely needs fixed and uh, i think they probably will at some point another like smaller feature you may not have noticed but something that is a huge improvement is uh, the graphics overall if you look at your game the game is much sharper the graphics are better a lot of things just are overall just very improved from shadowing textures to sound effects and even look at the icon for the time bending if you've done as much time bending as i have you know that they have really sharpened and brightened the colors of the time bending let me go ahead and pick this up so you see how the blue is just like a really bright neon blue and then when you get closer and closer you got the yellow which we always had but the colors were not this sharp see look how bright that orange color is that is crazy i think it's a huge improvement i really like the looks of it if you ever struggled to get glimmer they actually improved it. The Monster Ink Realm is actually working now, so you can actually get Glimmer from this. And not only that, but Glimmer will now drop two instead of just the one. So we're gonna pick that up. As I collect it, you see I got plus two. So now I can go over here. So we have an extra realm that actually drops the Glimmer and every single time you will always get two. So this is gonna make the grind a lot, uh, a lot easier for sure. 
the premium shop got a complete overhaul which you guys probably have already noticed but if you didn't know over here on the right there is a day and nighttime thing so you can use this to rotate to see what the uh, item actually looks like and then you can see what the item looks like at nighttime so if it's nighttime in your valley you see the lights on this house actually light up and it's just a better way of actually being able to see if we want to purchase this stuff or not so we have like this one over here i can do nighttime this is what it looks like at nighttime they also have like all the tags over here they changed the whole ui they have a, a featured category we got stuff from the old star path some more new items we have the uh, star path right here you have the bundles and stuff over here on the left and then uh, they overhauled like the whole Moonstone area as well. Another tiny thing you may not have noticed, but it's actually pretty game changing. If you go over here to your recipes and just like click on any of these, if you hit autofill, it like, it goes in there a lot faster. It's like almost instantly now. So I don't think that it was that quick before, but it's definitely gonna help you craft a bunch of recipes. So you can do this, back out, hit autofill. It's almost like instantly. And as you can see, I'm actually crafting a lot faster than I used to. Now, this place right here is a complete disaster. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get my vacuum out. Uh, let's see. Right here, we're going to place this down. And you're going to notice some changes with this. We actually have our select all button finally back. I mean, this has been taking us forever. And then it says the vacuum tells you how much mist you will be using by selecting what items you want to uh, collect. So we have 16 here. It's going to show 160 for that. Let me go ahead and click all this. It's going to take 720 and I'm going to be able to pick up all of this stuff. Boom. There we go. We finally got an improvement to the vacuum that was good and then it kind of got broken and now it's great again. And that is about it. Again, if you guys have any secrets or tips that you have found, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. I'll be making a part two to this video. Can't wait to follow up with it. I hope you guys have the best day. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.